Introducing the principles to you. Fighting out of the blue corner on my right. He weighed in at 107.96 kilograms, 238 pounds. His record, 34 wins, two losses, 28 wins by way of knockouts. He is in the black and red trunks. The former IBF Intercontinental Champion and undefeated former WBU Heavyweight Champion of the World from Baltimore, Maryland in the United States. Please welcome Hasim Kulak. A big round of applause, but then there's always a round of applause for the underdog. And we should never ever underestimate the champion. From Turin in Belgium, Mr. Daniel van der Wielen. We get to the champion. He weighed in 114.99 kilograms, 253 and a half pounds. His record of 38 wins, one loss, one draw, 29 wins by way of knockout. He's in the white trunks with Red Truman. He breaks to the ring a gold medal from the 88 Olympic Games in Seoul, Korea. He brings with him the WBC, IBF, and IBO Heavyweight World Titles. He comes from West Ham in London, England, and he is the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Lennox Bryan Lewis! Thank you. Well, Frank Maloney's just about to make his way down beside us. He's going to come to join us. Uh, you'd never actually guess who he's supporting. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite as blatantly patriotic, but then Frank Maloney is particularly proud of that. We are about to start the contest for the undisputed heavyweight championship of the world. A man from Baltimore and Maryland contested this some 60 years ago, but Red Berman was knocked out in five rounds by Joe Lewis. And uh, Lennox Lewis, different spelling needless to say, sometimes different pronunciation, is in no mood to do anything less, I'm quite sure. The question Marvin Hagler has been all the way through the build-up to this, which Lennox Lewis, Lennox Lewis are we going to see here tonight? Well, what I'm looking at right now is Rodgers kind of dry. You know, he didn't really work up a big sweat in the, in, the, in the dressing room there. That could be a major factor right now in the first round. Lennox looked very, very loose, very confident, and, uh, you know, he's seeing when he came in the ring just dancing. He's just putting his punches together. Even that jab kind of just shook Rockman right there. Everybody has made such a lot about the sheer size of Lennox Lewis, but in terms of conditioning, although Lewis is 16 pounds heavier, if you look at the waistline of the two men, Lewis looks in better condition. He looks in better condition. I was surprised at the shape that he's in. But I like to see Lewis keeps his hands up a little higher, though. Because this guy here, Rockman, looks like he's trying for a lucky punch in the first round. I noticed that he'd throw a jab to the body and come over the top with a right hand. Oh, Not too far away by the reigning champion, Lennox Lewis, trying to draw the boxer's hands down with the shot to the body himself. Lovely variation. Lewis towering over his opponent by some three inches. The only mistake in his career has been that loss to Oliver McCall. Very nasty scar on the right cheek of Rachman, but that was due to a car accident some years ago. Well, Lewis has got to keep that left hand up a little higher because Rockman is still looking for the right. Looking for that lucky right hand shot. Well, that's the one, as we've said on so many occasions, that uh, cost him his title and perhaps 30 or 40 million dollars. That's the sort of money the heavyweights make. I don't think even Marvin, you made that sort of money. <laughs> oh, no, I wish I did. See, there's the right hand that I was telling you about. Rockman just caught it with the right hand. And, uh, you know, as you know, uh, Lennox Lewis will try to retaliate that. Rachman didn't quite have the hand speed of McCall or one or two of the other boxers that Lewis has met. But Lewis now will realize that he has to keep that left up. And that's a good, solid jab from the champion. Well, who's got a four or five uh, reach advantage in terms of uh, actually jabbing out that right hand. Well, you know, I know that Manuel Stewart is probably going to jump right on him when he gets back in the corner. Because you can see he's getting hit with punches that he should never get hit with.
Blackman the rock and will he be the rock upon which Lennox Lewis's career will founder somehow I don't think so Lewis being a little bit telegraphic with that right hand of his as we come up to the end of this first round better work by Lewis up on his toes bouncing confident 10 seconds to go a little faint of the right faint of the right again two men who know their business well you know one thing that I can say Rockman uh, is so he's scared of Lewis that's for sure so Lennox Lewis now 35 years old and Emmanuel Stewart is senior trainer straight in front of him and it wasn't a bad uh, round at all I just interesting to see how the punches broke down well much more accurate uh, by Lennox Lewis looking good just like that and key, every time you fuck, can't move, dip jab. Bang the right kidney inside, okay? Suck it in. Stay like that. Don't let things get you excited. Just stay like you are. Nice and relaxed. Suck it in. Suck it in again. One more. Good. Now step low strong. Well, they must be fairly pleased, despite the uh, difference in punches thrown and landed with the performance of Rachman in that first round. Well, Rachman has more than survived the first round and has posed one or two problems for the champion Lennox Lewis. Well, you know, I, I felt as though that round was very much even. You know, they both was testing each other out. Nobody really done any real damage. I believe now that the, all the butterflies are gone now and they're gonna get the show on the road. Yeah, well, Lewis suddenly stepped up the pace a little bit and there was real venom in that right hand that he threw over the top. And you can see the whole tempo of this contest oh. starting to pick up. Well, see, this is what I was telling you. Manu Stewart couldn't wait to get Lennox Lewis back in the corner and let him and tell him that he's dropping that right hand, that left hand there. You don't want Lennox Lewis to get too over anxious to fry that right hand. Well, Rachman has a terrific record in oh, terms of that knockouts. There was a good combination by Lewis. That was a nice left uppercut right hand, and Lewis is very known for that uppercut. And if he found that, they, that he can catch him with that, I think he's going to use it a lot more. Do you feel the altitude that was probably trying to take effect on one of the fighters? Rachman walked onto a very good short left from Lewis, who delayed the punch ever so slightly, filled him, and then his man came straight onto it. Manny Stewart not too far away from us in the Lewis corner, just gesturing to his man to come forward. Oh, oh uppercut yeah, once yeah, again. Nice uppercut. If he finds that secret right there, and if it's working one time and working twice now, he's going to use it again. And Rachman now covering him up. He has felt the power of his opponent and when you feel the power of somebody that big it must send shivers not just on your spine but through your very existence i remember getting hit one time by trying to be some copy i learned something after that uppercut <laughs> so a much better round this for lennox Lewis without any shadow of a doubt well you know Rock don't know how to fight in the inside as far as crossing his arm to prevent that uppercut and that's what I thought that he was really working with in training to prevent Lewis's uppercut and that overhand right. Referee Daniel van der Weyler from Belgium was the man who should have been judging at the first Lewis Holyfield fight which is a draw. Good stiff left once again from the champion settled into a nice pattern and almost arrogantly and confidently he again, pushes his man away again Lewis is looking for that overhand right and when he throws the right hand then he's going to bring that uppercut on there again decent little left hand from the challenger coming in and again so he's trying to vary his work a little bit and trying to confuse Lennox Lewis he's actually trying to get him out of there in this round and you're wondering if like I said, the, out the uh, altitude is, is bothering it because he's got his mouth open, and that's a bad sign. Lewis putting his man on the back foot at the end of the round, and a baleful stare between the two. And it's been nice and peaceful all the way through, Marvin Hagler, but there was a genuine look of hostility there. Oh, yeah, because uh, he wanted to get this guy out of there. He wanted to get Rockman out of there, and he couldn't, he couldn't believe that Rockman took those uppercuts like that. Well, interesting variation in that round. We saw uh, many more body shots than we saw in the first round. Rachman's face marking up already. Lennox Lewis 
looking calm and collected. Remember, we are 6,000 feet above sea level. Frank Maloney, well, that is an outfit and a half. Frank Maloney, I'm not sure that he will get into the Royal Enclosure at Ascot on race day with that. When you get around, when you're inside working side, he's only hit with the right hand. Well, you know, the way that I feel, Rotman has got to put more pressure on Lennox because Lennox is just standing on the outside. See, there's that uppercut that I was telling you about that was very dangerous. He needs to, to fill that space in there. And he's got to cross those arms in the inside. Round three. Rotman. And Lewis looking for that big combination again. And for a big man, he has got terrific hand speed. We wondered which Lennox Lewis we would see. Was it the one who was resigned to going the full distance with David Tua or the one who tucked Andrew Galotta away in considerable style and maybe as a combination overhand right from Lewis and there's a bit of bruising around the left hand side of the face of Racing. Again uh, Rodman's still a dangerous fighter right now because he's jabbing to the body and he's looking for that overhand right. Well we were talking about uh, Rachman not having broken much of a sweat before this contest <laughs> but he really is sweating now. After those couple uppercuts, uppercuts, you would be sweaty too. <laughs> Lewis getting the measure of his man. Lewis dominating the center of this ring. Short right hand inside from the champion. And he's able to tie Rachman up when the challenger comes in. Exactly, a beautiful uppercut there. Uh, that's what he's developed. This is what Manuel Stewart has taught him. And you remember years ago when he used to drop that punch, he didn't use it to telegraph it. Now he's, he throws it so quick you can't even know it's coming. The swelling underneath the left eye of the challenger has grown considerably. Lewis with his Ooh. wife open. Again, the big right hand, but timed it very right poorly. Hand. I think that would hurt me. <laughs> right one very slowly puts his hands up. There's that right hand. Lewis read it very well. Was on the retreat and then has closed his man down. He really has a nice repertoire, Lewis. Oh, he's he? doing real well, but the, the problem that I'm looking at right now is he's got his mouth open. This could be a dangerous shot. If he gets hit in the jaw with his mouth open, uh, that's a dangerous. He's got to close that mouth. It's got to be the altitude here. Left and then a, a right and then a short left from Lewis. Dropped the left hand, nearly got himself caught again. That's what I see. I see. Rockman now, the more he, he's starting to get more confident now. See, there's another shot. After he takes these kind of punishment, punishing shots, the uppercut, he starts to get more braver. But I can see the left swelling over the left eye now. Well, Rockman matching Lewis more or less in this round, jab for jab. There's very little in it, just about half a minute to go to the end of the third. There were odds of uh, 200 to 1 on Rachman winning this in the first round. Lewis well, started as a 15 or 18 to 1 on favorite. It's still as too early, you know, and I still don't count Rachman out. And Lennox Lewis shouldn't count him out either. Well, a little uh, flurry at the end of this round shows that Rachman is by no means finished. And to use that old boxing adage, he really has come here to fight. Well, this is the kind of fight that we was here looking for. Good little clip at the end uh, from Lennox Lewis. And Gary Richards with Frank Maloney. Frank, what do you think so far? So far, he's doing everything textbook. He's, he's got his distance now. He's starting to find the body, which he did in the first round and a half. And now he's just landing shots, hopefully at will. And I think, you know, another round of this and maybe the fifth round, I think Rackman are beginning to go. The eye's beginning to swell underneath as well from the, the jab, which is really working fast first class. He's got to be careful, though, hasn't he? Yeah, Rackman's dangerous. But, he, you know, Lennox seems to have found a distance, as I said. He's getting the right hand in, which was missing in the first round. And he's, he's, he's starting to attack the body, which he hasn't been doing. So, you know, I think it's just a matter of time and patience. Thank you, Frank. Thank you, Gary. Well, there's been a fair old uh, number of punches thrown in this contest so far, and most of them, I suspect, have come from uh, Lennox Lewis. Well, you, know, you know what I see, Jim, is that when he got when he uh, got caught with that body shot, the left to the body, he backed up out of there and then got caught with a left hook. That's a bad move uh, on the side of a fighter. Never back straight back up in the line. You've got to keep the head moving from side to side exactly, every time. From side to side. Never show your opponent that you back straight back because he's going to walk right on top of you. Just like Lin is catching him now, probably working on that eye, that left eye. Good jab by Lewis, and he looks a lot stronger in this round. Oh, uppercut by the champion. Rachman in a little bit of trouble. 
to be fair to him, he came back and that right hand of his has come oh, yeah. in and what a great challenger he is. Rockman um, said that he's going to make this war. Well, he has gone to war. Daniel van der Vela brings them apart. We suspected that we uh, may not need the judges. There's a bit of a timeout been taken. Lewis trying that uppercut again. <laughs> that was nice. That was a nice try right there. I couldn't see Rockman trying to walk into that. <laughs> He's got to keep the pressure on Lennox, though. Lewis, Lewis a little bit flat-footed at the moment. A little flat-footed and a little dirty, hitting behind the head. Lennon is known for uh, holding and punching behind the head. Rockman still throwing good shots. He's got to close the gap in the, right now with Lennox. Well, Lewis with the mouth uh, really open, and he's uh, trying to suck in what little oxygen there is here at 6,000 feet, just outside Johannesburg, in the aptly named Carnival City. The referee telling Lewis off. Good defence by the champion. Into the second half of this, uh, the fourth round. A lot of people predicted it wouldn't go as far as this, but well, Rachman is still there. Well, I predicted this. The way he's looking right now, he should go four or five rounds. Now it's Lewis's turn to hold on. It's a little bit untidy in this run, and Lewis hasn't been nearly as dominating. Certainly not compared with the third run. Rodman's got to get close in case take. Ah, oh, beautiful. This one he was trying to suck, suck Linus Lewis in again to throw the right hand, and he counted with his own right. I think to be fair, Lewis just moved the chin like half a half a half an inch to the side, and it glanced off, but. Lewis, obviously, as we know, has a very good chin. Well, you know, you see Lenny Schwartz now playing with him, dropping both hands, and you can see that this guy is a dangerous fighter, this uh, Rockman. Well, how many people have we seen do that and got themselves caught? Exactly. Just about 25 seconds to go. Lewis trying to be first with that jab. Well, there's a little bit of a bounce now on the step of the, uh, the man in the white trunks, the champion Lennox Lewis. Oh, yeah. A smile on the face of Lewis, but Rachman is noted not just for a good right hand, but a good left jab, and he's getting that through. Well, you know, Lennox Lewis has been a lot of times 12 rounds in the championship fight. Rachman has been two times 12 rounds, and both times he had won in the last round. Well, that was a very good uh, finish to that round. So four gone, and Lewis, one suspects, has uh, thrown certainly many more in the way of punches. You start shooting the left hooks, you're going to be knocking him out of here. Shoot the left hooks, just pick him on the left. Well, well 51 to 43 in terms hook. of uh, punches landed, so Lewis hasn't got his own way. And interesting, Marvin, that last round, it was the challenger who landed more shots. Sure, well, you know, he kind of rocked, uh, not rocked, but, you know, I think Linux was more surprised by getting caught with that punch. I mean, you got to respect this guy. Well, a bit of action from, from that round. And Rachman, the hands held up, and that was a good round the corner left from the challenger. And when somebody that size hits you, you suddenly think, what am I doing here? Uh, 253 pounds going inside your head. Uh -huh. I think somebody's going to have a headache here tonight. Well, at the moment, that wasn't a bad shot right at the end by Rachman. I believe if I was Lennox Lewis, I would just try boxing this guy and work on that left eye. Close that eye right up. Not too far away by Lewis. Again, Rockman staying too far, in, uh, too far back. Everybody talks about the fact that Lewis hasn't been here for that long, but it's been nearly 260 days since uh, Rachman had a contest. He was supposed to fight in October, but had to have a little sister move from his lower back. So while he's been preparing as best he can, he's perhaps a little bit rusty in terms of sheer competition. Lewis looking more confident. He's looking more confident, but he's just, uh, Manu Stewart, I think, has got him picking his hands back up, not being uh, so, so much of a fancy dance. Well, the sweat from the pair of them just uh, showering over us here at ringside in our comedy position. Got my hair all wet, too. <laughs> Where did you leave it? <laughs> Lewis gets the challenger in his own corner, and underneath Manny Stewart saying, come forward, come forward. Now, this is where Rachman does not want to be. Well, they're right in our corner right now. And Lewis Strange, let him away. Well, you know, Rachman to me is a sneaky kind of a fighter. 
you know, he backs up. You think you got this guy. You think he's not going to come back and fight. Then all of a sudden, he, like, puts his head down and just throws crazy punches. Looking for that lucky shot. Midway through the fifth. Black run oh, still there. There right you go. Too far away. Whoa. <laughs> this is the shot that I'm just talking about. He put that head down and he just lets it go. Lewis smiles, but he knows it wasn't too far away. Wonderful jab by Lewis. There again, Lennox Lewis is starting to drop the hand. The left hand is going down again. Put a swelling on the upper lip of uh, Lennox Lewis. And a little bit underneath his own left eye. Oh, Good nice combination. Good right body shot to Rodman. I think Rodman felt that one. He's going to make him pay for that <laughs> the right hook that he just got caught with. Oh! Oh! He's got him! He yes. got Curtis and he's got him! Is it Oliver McCall all over again? Yes. It is! Yes. And Lewis has gone! Lewis has gone! It's another upset of immense proportions! Unbelievable. This That's has been filled as thunder in Africa! And the thunder and the lightning and Tempest have washed over Drop Lennox Lewis and all his titles have gone! and he has only himself to blame. Stunning finish. They knew all about the Rachman right hand. They told him about it. They said, don't do what you don't did against that. Oliver McCall. And despite it all, he got too careless. What a finish. Too overconfident. That's what he was worried about before the beginning of this fight. And I told you it only takes one second. Rodman put the attack on him with three or four uh, left hooks and then counted with that right hand. And that I felt that right hand. Well, there is the happiest man on the planet. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. The rock has triumphed. The lion has been humbled. Unbelievable. That is right up there with the rumble in the jungle, with, well, McCall stopping Lewis more recently with Nassim Hamed losing his title, but I have to say there are very, very few upsets. Marvin Hager will come close to this. Well, we was talking about upsets all, all, all to me, and uh, this has got to be the biggest one, I think, of uh, it, either it ties that Mike Tyson and, uh, and Douglas. What a finish. What a right hand. What a challenger. And now, what a champion. He's got a powerful punch, this Rockman. Well, he certainly has. He wants to go over to the Lewis corner and say thank you very much indeed. Lennox Lewis got caught way back in 1994 in Wembley by Oliver McCall. He swore he would never get caught like that again. And what do you know, he did get caught like that again. There, look at Lewis's left hand. It's absolutely nowhere near, and he let it go. Oh, what a shot, what a contact. That is because Lennox Lewis didn't keep his hands up and he was backing up any time that a fighter backs up and drops his hand. He's vulnerable for a good shot. Well, there was serious controversy. Exactly. And he wasn't allowed to continue against McCall, but there was never any doubt about it. And if anything, that was a better punch by Rathman than the one we saw from Oliver McCall some seven and a half years ago. Well, I gotta tell you something, Jim. When you take punches like that, like with Oliver McCall and now with The Rock, it's very hard for you to bounce back again. I mean, no, also, all the fighters out there now, Lennox is, is not a, Lennox is not a threat now. They know if they tag him, he's got to go down. Well, for the second time in his career, Lennox Lewis has found himself in real trouble. There it is. Lewis couldn't believe it. Rachman certainly believed it because he believed in himself. I don't know the reason. Well, we can watch this over and over and over again. It was the punch of dreams from Rachman and the punch of nightmares for Lennox Lewis. Flat on his back and counted out and his title's gone. Well, maybe I made the wrong addition. I said somebody's going to go in the fall for the fifth round. Yeah, but you got the wrong somebody. <laughs> I got the wrong somebody.
Frank, what went wrong? He threw the best punch of the fight. You can't say nothing about that. Um, he threw the best right hand. He threw the thunder in Africa. This is a massive shock, isn't it, for world boxing? On the night, the best man won. You can't say no more than that. How will Lennox take this, Frank? Um, we'll see after this fight. OK, we'll talk to you more a, a little bit later on, but I've got to ask you at this stage, in the contract it says a rematch. Um, uh, that'll all be sorted out after. At the moment, I'm okay, mostly thank you, Frank. Right,